Sukuyan, everyone. We're going to talk about clan life today in this Mandalorian series. And so let's start with words for family members. So the word for parent is buir. Ba buir is a grandparent, or literally the parent's parent. Vod means sibling. Ba vodu means your aunt or uncle or your parent's sibling. Remember, this is all uh, gender neutral. Ad means child. Adik means a young child from about 3 to 13, and an ikad is a baby from 3 and under. Vod means your literal siblings. It also means someone who you consider close and even part of your family. It's a very endearing term. And in internet culture for Mandalorians, usually most people call each other Vod, even though they're really not that close. It's just that there aren't very many Mandalorians to call your Vode. So... In lore, it's used rarely for only people who you really care about. But in practice, for us, it's used often for other Mandalorians. If you're not considering them part of your family, but you're still your close friend, you can say Bursha, which means friend. It can also be used ironically, like in English. Like, for example, you're in the wrong place, friend. Your family and your whole clan is your elite. The leader of your elite is your Alor, your chief. Everyone in the clan works together to help promote the clan. It's part of the six acts to be a Mandalorian, the Rezonati. Everyone has a job to do, and so to name a job, you usually will add bor to a root word for whatever that work is. So for example, gota bor is a compound of gota and bor. Gota means machine. So go to bore means machine work or engineer. Bear is also derived from bore, and so the word beroya means a hired hunter, a bounty hunter. However, bear isn't used that often. I've only ever seen it attached to beroya, so usually you use bore. And if there's not a specific word for that job, you use bore. However, some jobs do have specific words for them, which don't have bore attached to it. So if it does have a specific word for that job, use that. But if there's not, then just get whatever they do and attach a board to it. Another one of the six acts as a Mandalorian, the Rezonare, is to raise your children as a Mandalorian. This education, this raising, is called Bajur. And this isn't just their academic work, their math, anything like that. This is talking about preparation for their adulthood, their life, work, and survival. It's very important to raise your children this way. And last, we're going to talk about people who are not in your family or your clan and are despised by them. Would be Arue, your enemy. Arue T, a traitor, a foreigner, an outsider. Typically, outsiders, people not in your clan, are looked down upon. Even if, you know, they haven't done anything wrong, they're just generally treated with some suspicion, at least. A bezom is someone with no manners, according to the Mandalorian manner system, anyway. And chavla means rough or unruly. That's an adjective, chavla. Chakar means a petty criminal. Chakar means thief. So chakarish means thiefly. Darmanda. Darmanda is... A state of not being a Mandalorian. Now this doesn't mean an outsider, but someone who was Mandalorian but is no longer because if they don't follow the Rezonare or they have done something that they can't be part of their culture anymore. And this is very looked down upon because to be a Mandalorian is more than just physically being there. In modern Mandalorian spirituality, they don't believe in deities, but they do believe in a collective spirit of being Mandalorian. And if you are Darmanda, you're not part of that collective spirit, and you're looked down upon. And speaking of looked down upon, Durania means to look down upon, and Duran means like scold, contempt. The Mandalorians have a severe disdain for the huts. It's where the, comes this word, Hatun, which means coward. It's one of the most severe insults that you can give a Mandalorian. 
because they hate the huts and they hate cowards. So they just kind of use that word for coward. And gehutun means the, a petty criminal, like an almost coward. Ge is a prefix which means almost or near, about. So almost cowardly, basically, is what that means. So that should be all for um, the clan life words. I mean, I'm sure there's more, and I will obviously incorporate them in future videos. And I think in the next video, I might talk about home and buildings and around your village, you know, what you have in your home as well. So I'll talk about that next. But for now, that's all. So see you later. Let it me.